Hello Techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with Microsoft Test Analytics that is Detect Language Action. Detect Language Action invokes Microsoft Cognitive Service named Test Analytics Detect Language. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. By using this action, we can find or detect the language of the given text and stored in the JSON response. Detect language can detect the language of the given input text and report a single language code for every text which are submitted on the request in a wide range of languages. The language code is paired with a confidence score in the JSON response. All right, now we'll see the input parameters for the detect language. The first parameter is the server location. The server location will get it from the Azure Cognitive Service that is text analytics. Let me switch to portal.azure. In our previous tutorial, we have created Power Automate Desktop Test Analytics API is the name of the text analytics API which we have created. This API returns the detected long waves and a numeric score between 0 and 1. Score close to 1 indicates 100% certainty that the identified long waves is true. Over here, if you see, I'm having subscription keys, that is key 1 and key 2. We are going to copy one of the key. And then you can see the location or region, that is east US. In the server location, we are going to provide this east US as the server location. Now, over here in the input parameters, the first input parameter is the server location that we are going to give it as EC US. And the second parameter is the subscription key. We are going to provide the subscription key which we have just copied. All right. Now, the third parameter is that we need to provide the input text for the detect long wave. Over here, I'm going to give it the text as Power Automate is the best RPA tool in the market. This is the text which I am going to give it. All right. Now we'll see the advance. There we are having the timeout, which indicates the timeout expired while performing the request. All right. Now, if you see the variables produced, these are the output parameters that we are going to get it. One is JSON response. Another one is the status code. JSON response is the JavaScript object notation is a standard test based format for representing structured data. Whereas status code, we are having 200, that is successful process for the request, whereas 400 is the bad request response, which indicates the server cannot or will not process the request. All right. Now, if you see the input text I have given it is in English, that we know that one, this is in English, and the output will get it in a such a way in the JSON response, in the detected languages, we'll get it as English. All right, let's click on save. Now we'll see the output, what kind of language it is going to be detecting based on the given input in the detect language action. All right, now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started, and you can see it is trying to connect to the API of the Azure Test Analytics API. And then we got the response in the JSON format. Let's click on that. There you can see in the JSON response, I'm having documents and errors. There are no errors right now, so that I'm having the documents inside that. I'm having again, it's the item of zero. If you click on more once again, there you can see the name. It's a detected long ways name. You can see as English and ISO 6391 is the code, long ways code as English. And if you see the score over here as one, it's mean that the detected long wave, whatever the long wave has been given, it is 100% certainty with the identified long wave, right? So that it is very certain with the long wave, it has been identified as English, all right? Now, if you observe over here, the JSON response, to get the name of the long waves, which are detected, there you can see, I have to go through in a JSON response in such a way, documents, of zero and the detected long ways of zero inside that I'm having name. I will show you how to give this value or how to get the value whenever we are going to store or, or displaying the message. All right, now let's click on close.
Now, to display the output, which we got it from the detect long ways action, I'm going to use display message action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after detect long ways. Now, I'm going to give it the message box title as detected long ways. And after that, the important thing is that the message to display. What is the output that we need to display? In my JSON response, I'm having documents. Inside that, I'm having items of zero, nothing but single item, I'm having it. Inside the single item, I'm having detected languages where I'm having the name, right? So that I'm going to display the language which has been detected by using detect language action. All right, let me click on save. Now, before running this flow, I'm going to make a small change over here. If you see right now, we have already given the input text in English, but right now I want to change the long way. As I'm going to give the input, I know this long ways I have given in Spanish. All right, so that we need to get the output in a such a way in the display message as long ways as Spanish. All right, let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see the status code has given as 200. Nothing but it's a successful request and response from the text analytics API. And if you see, I got the display message over here as detected long ways as Spanish. All right, let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to work with detect long ways action as part of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will work on a small use case to detect the long width of the given text from the Excel. And then whatever the long width has been detected by using detect long width, we will write the text in the Excel as an output. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.